Hi Virgo, it's Mary Jo. Welcome back to my channel, Enchantress Tarot. I hope everybody's doing well and happy birthday, happy solar return to our August Virgos, Virgoins. I'm doing your reading for August 2020. But before I do, I want to thank everyone who's been with me from the beginning. It's been five years in August that I started doing this online. And it's been great to meet so many people through readings, through comments, emails. You know, face to face is nice, but I have more opportunity this way to meet you through FaceTime or other social media. It's been wonderful. So thank you very much. I appreciate you all. So let's get started here. And you know, the High Priestess, this is the third time this card's come up. So that's very interesting. So let's see what the High Priestess. So generally the High Priestess talks about secrets. Research. Ooh, Virgos love to research. They love to really dive deep into things, analyze things, find out the truth. Now with the High Priestess, we're talking about the moon. This is the card, the moon. Um, but let's see what it is for Virgo. So this is the immediate past three weeks to three months. So there has been a lot of, um, things coming to light for you, Virgo. A lot of questions that you've been waiting for answers for, things that were unknown to you, that you were able to find out the truth. The truth was revealed to you. Like what was behind the pomegranate curtain? Your, your waiting time was over and now you've got the answers. Whether they're the answers you wanted to hear or not is kind of irrelevant because you were looking for the answers. And Virgo, you seek the truth. You analyze things. Um, some people say to a flaw because uh, you're like the chess player of astrology you like to uh, of the zodiac you like to know every move as it's played out so a lot of wisdom came to you from just watching waiting and listening all the information that you were waiting for so if you were researching information for a health issue the information now has been given to you if it was something you were diving into about a relationship you were in that you were in doubt of someone's credibility or morality or ethics, whether as a lover, or as a friend, a family member, that you were seeking the truth about them. And through watching and listening and waiting, you have the answers that you were seeking. Again, it doesn't mean it was what you wanted to hear, but it's what you needed to know. And you have this information now. You've grown wiser from it. And you know with the hermit, is one of your major arcana in the tarot. It's Virgo. And the hermit is that hermetic, reclusive individual part of ourselves who goes within to be introspective and waits. And not until they're ready, they come out of their cave, wiser, healed, and knowing. And, and this is the energy that you've got. So you found out some things, like I said, that you were waiting for the mystery behind the secret. And this energy is a lot like a psychic's energy, you know, or a tarot reader, somebody who's clairaudient, clairvoyant, people who have an uncanny sense of knowing. That's the wisdom of the high priestess, but she doesn't speak a word. Everything is done telepathically. So I really feel like you got this information either like through an email or a text or someone wrote you a note. It's not something that words came out. You found out these things uh, through your own patience and your own dedication to getting the answer for it. That's a major account. And then you have the lovers. Someone else got the lovers too. I think two people got the lovers. And I'm just trying to think of the energy that's coming up here with the moon. We know it's ever present. It's a cycle. So it's coming up big for, uh, out of six readings so far, three of you. But the lovers is Gemini. And I think this is the third time this came up. Mercury rules Gemini. I'm just trying to think what's going on in the heavens right now. But that being said, um, yeah, Virgo, that's right. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, and Virgo is ruled by Mercury. So there's a, a simpatico going on there. This is something that you've been waiting for to fulfill yourself. For some of you, if this is a, a love matter, and you were trying out, uh, to figure out the truth about uh, the choice between two people in a love relationship or the, again, ethic, moral value of this person. 
you've found out. For some of you, it is about you making the right choice now or a good choice. You know, just because you found out something and like I said, it wasn't what you wanted to hear, um, but it's what you needed to hear, doesn't mean you're going to make the right choice. If you found out this person is married and has children and you're going to continue cheating with this person, that's your choice. I have no judgment here, okay? This is all about you. But this card is saying that you need to make the right choice about this situation. And if it was your health or money situation or a home, a job or vacation, like I said, my readings are for everybody, even though they are general readings. You can get the message uh, spirits giving you if you just apply this to your life. So for you, Virgo, it's about making the choice. This is something that you've been wanting for a long time. It's something you feel like that's been missing in your life. And this is the choice you're making and choosing wisely in it to feel fulfilled. And for some of you, it's about leaving this job that you've been working at for a long time that is not fulfilling. It's just been a paycheck. And you've been afraid to do it. But after what's been happening in light of everything that's been happening with this virus, you've been living on meager means and making it work because you had to. You had no choice. And now you're realizing, wait a minute, what have I been doing? I don't need to live this way. I can live the way I'm living without that aggravation. And you're making the choice to leave that job or situation because you've been able to survive without it. Um, even if it's you changing your job or vacation or trade or opening your own business, starting a side hustle, a side project, something that you love that you're crafted in to make some extra money. This is something that's more fulfilling for you that you love to do. This is a job. This is a choice of happiness and success. <sighs> For some of you, it's really a choice about bringing yourself back into a balance. And it's something to do definitely with um, commerce, money, business. It could be, you know, your business took a big hit and you've been waiting on everything to start to uh, balance out because the number six is of balance with your, your business or commerce and how you're going to move forward now is the choice that you're making. Now, Spirit's here to guide you for whatever this is, with, whether it's a lover, a family member, a health issue, finances, material things, school, yourself. This is what it's talking about, making a good choice for you. And Spirit's there to guide you with this, Virgo. So prayer, contemplation, and meditation will help you and asking them to help you with the right choice. Again, you have free will, though. Spirit doesn't force you to do anything you don't want. Thy will be done, God says to you. And it is your will and your choice for you to do this. But choosing wisely is very important at this time. And I really feel like, you know, with the old cards, it used to show three people. This is only showing two. I really feel, Virgo, because of your strong analytical sense and your moral integrity, uh, that you like to have throughout your whole lifetime, you're going to choose wisely. So you have this moon is water. The lover's Gemini is air. Your thoughts and words, and boom, we have another air card here. And this night has come up a couple of times also. There's a resounding message going on so far in six of the readings that are strongly uh, covering um, people. So I'd have to go and look astrologically what's lining up for these you know, polarities. That being said, Virgo, this night carries an energy of charismatic, uh, magnetic um, energy. They draw you in, swift, clear, concise, bright. They make decisions the way you like to, because this is also mercurial energy. This is our Gemini or our um, Libra and Aquarius, so that they're they're like you, Virgo, even though you're an earth sign, you like to make practical, logical choices. You know, you don't let your emotions get in the way, and this night doesn't either. Now, this is a love relationship. For some of you going back to love, this person is going to just ride right into your life, and they're going to ride right out. This is not someone who's there for the long haul, and you like things that last, and you like things that sustain. Uh, this relationship will be quick, swift, and they're gone. Now, if that's okay with you, good. That's okay with you. But if you're going into this looking for something lasting, just know in advance this is not the person um, of your dreams that you're looking for. It's not Mr. Right, it's Mr. Right Now. Same thing, Miss Right, it's Miss Right Now. It's okay. These people have a purpose in our lives for everything for growth, and it's up to you what you're looking for. 
let's see. For others of you, this is um, this is more that this information that you've been waiting for the that you've been you've been on hold for a long time waiting for a, a message, a phone call, a letter, the email, you know, the word of mouth, the the information you've been waiting for on this situation that you're looking into, whether like I said, it's love or um, romance, your family, your friends, your business, your home. This is going to be swift. It's coming to you like right out of left field. You weren't expecting it, yet you were waiting for it because there's been such a long delay on getting the news that you're waiting to hear. This knight rides in taking the action to clear things away. All of that uh, bureaucracy is gone. They cut through the red tape. They cut through the lies. They cut through the nonsense. This knight brings the energy of clearing. There's passion in this because the knights are fire element, yet this knight is air. So passionate uh, um, clearing of what's been clouding the situation in your life with this person, place, or situation. And like I said, it's swift. And the, the matter is over and done with after you've been waiting so long. Oh, wow, another major. We have temperance. This is Sagittarius in the Tarot. Now, ten temperance talks about offering up our ego for the soul offers up the ego of the human for clearing. Now, Virgo is the physical body. You are. You embody the physical form um, in human form. So this could be some cleansing of your ego for whatever's happened here to you. The soul is going through a growth, an evolution. This is when you elevate yourself as who you are and rise above the situation, elevating your vibration. This is a replenishing of who you are, okay? This is making whatever was impossible work. What didn't seem to be able to happen, like if this is a blending of two families, you didn't think it was going to work, this is the card that says have patience. I'm helping you heal this. If this is a bad relationship that you thought was never going to end, this is the healing of that relationship. If it's something within your physical body, which could be any addictions or physical ailments, this card comes along to show you that healing is going to take place. It's not going to be very quick. You might get the news of how to work through this, but it's going to take the time it takes, but spirit is there to help you and the healing is on its way for you. And this is a blending here, like a blending of um, energies to help you to heal this. Like here, one foot's in the water, one foot's on the land. So here we have the spiritual and the earthly, matter and the ephemeris coming together blending. It's an alchemical process of healing. And this angel here, this angel here, I really feel in spirit, you're being guided and blessed. So there is this um, moderation in, in, and modification, they're saying, of things that you've been doing in your life that's been taking place since going back um, into March. And for some of you, even longer into last year. But this is the, the blending of the opposites and making things work. It's like an alchemical process, so just be patient. Moderate your behavior also if you've been worrying too much, anxious, if you're drinking too much, overeating, uh, drugs too much, um, the depression. These are all the things that uh, tie in with Virgo, your anxiety, your central nervous system, worrying, you know. Get out of your head. That mercurial energy that's there is great for logic and reason, but it's not great when you constantly are weighing the same situation over and over again and trying to rush a result. This is about giving the time it's going to take to heal the situation and yourself. It's a little bit different energy here, but look, we've got water, air, air, and this is fire with temperance. So you are the earth elements. You've gotten bombarded by these different elements, and these are major arcana. So this is forcing a growth in you. And hey, look, with your solar return coming, six weeks to three months, people feel uh, a healing or an improvement around their solar return. So this could be the healing and improvement that you've been waiting for, Virgo. So dwell in it, fell in it, enjoy it for now. And know and trust and have faith that Spirit's here to help you and heal you with this situation. And with all the situations, all you need to do is ask them and they're there. So I hope this helps you again. Happy solar return to our August Virgoans. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next month. And as always, I wish you the best.